So we got a G4 half spear here, but we're gonna dual boot with 9.2.2 because that's all we'll run on here, and that's what's gonna make our first difficult decisions. Well, not decisions, it's gonna make things just a little more complicated to get started. And uh 10.3 Welcome to the Apple Orchard. Join myself and others collecting vintage and not so vintage Apple computers and products. Welcome to the Orchard. Put some Panther on there because that's as far as it'll go. And hopefully I got some RAM downstairs so we can uh, upgrade this to its whole one gigabyte. As you may see, our hard drive is now erased. And we got a open slate to do it. So the first thing I need to do is actually take this thing apart and take the hard drive out because I need to actually put this into my G4 mule downstairs and put 9.2.2 because I don't have a 9.2.2 disc or I guess I haven't even made a, a USB thing to install straight onto here. So I have to do it onto there and then go online and find the upgrade and all that fun stuff. So here we go. We're going to take this thing apart. We're going to get that hard disk downstairs and we'll get this whole shenanigan started. Okay, now pro tip when you're pulling these apart, I probably should have it down a little lower. Huh? You can see what's going on. As you take all these four screws out, which you have right here. When you pull these apart, you want to try to make sure that you are putting more pressure on this area right here because that's where everything is actually connected on the inside. And these are brilliantly put together. So it's just going to come apart right there. And there we be. Oh my gosh, this thing has not seen the light of day since probably ever. You can see the dust in there. Nasty. We'll get this cleaned up and get that battery replaced. Okay. After I get this apart. All right, so now I'm down at my bench. Yeah, I got a lot of projects I gotta finish up here. These Emacs are driving me crazy. Whole different subject. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, here's my mule down here, the old G4 Power Mac. And I can't remember what megahertz it is or anything. I think it's 866. I'm probably just making that up, but that sounds right. And I'm gonna hook up the old hard drive down into there and we're gonna stick on old ms ms hi os 9 and then we'll uh, upgrade it to the 9.2.2 and then i'm just going to use my panthers uh this i have right here and just do it all down here because it's just faster than going through the imac itself and just saving a little bit of time and i know that the disk drive works on there so i've already tried it all right so here we go should we save this history? Oh, no. well, basically what we got going here is we got everything loaded up, including iLife 05. Right there. We got our combo updated to 10.3.9. And we can put Tiger on here, I suppose. But for some reason, I wanted to put Panther on here. So we're just going to roll with the Panther. And everyone's going to enjoy it. So what's going to happen here is I'll show you real quick. Is that if we go down to our preferences, we check our startup disks. We will see that they'll have two different ones here. As soon as they populate in the area, see we got 9.2.2, yes, and 10.3.9. So we are ready to rock there. I'm going to shut this down 
and we'll bring the hard disk back up. Reinstall it on the G4, and then we're gonna play a little Doom. All right. And there she is in all of her splendor. Let's pull it out. Disconnect. We are ready to rock. So we're back. We got our hard drive all redone. So we'll get all that put together here, put back in. I also have a new pram battery to put into here. Now you'll be, be saying, why are you putting another one of those? My only thing is that I like making these things as stock as possible. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the hard drive back in. And you can see we still have the sticker on to keep all the dust out from the original thing. So we're just gonna use the original hard drive back in there again. And then I'm going to replace that. And I have a 512 stick to put onto the bottom here. I couldn't find a 512 that was this size that I don't have anymore. So I'm just gonna have to like bite the bullet and actually find some from either a recycler or from hopefully a recycler or from eBay, which they kind of gouge you on this stuff now. I remember when we used to buy these for like two and a half dollars a piece. Now they're about six. So stupid. All right, so here we go. All right, we got it all back together. Now you notice that I didn't put the last two screws in there because, well, if something didn't go in right or something's not working right, then we gotta pull them all back apart. But the problem with these is that they're so well engineered that you need to have all this, well, it doesn't make any sense not to put the screws back in because you just have to pull the whole thing apart just to get the screws back in if you got everything working the correct way. So I got a feeling this one's gonna be working just fine, but let's find out and contact no chime interesting and voila there she is yes for behaving incorrectly and I will hook up our interwebs just to get the clock back in sync. Go up to there, open date and time. It is not December 31st, 1969. Even I wish some people probably do wish it was. That was even before my time. Okay, and set time and date automatically. And kaboom, there we go. The 5th of April, 2021. And it's almost 3 o'clock. Actually not checked. Let's go to our startup disk. And we are going to go to... 9.2 into our classic restart, restart. Just so we can play some... Doom the first disc ever picked up and this was back when i just thought i was going to get into that <gasps> did you hear that oh wasn't that beautiful when i was planning on getting into apple computers and these old style type things and this was before i think i even had one but i found this guy right away and i thought it was pretty cool i haven't seen one since at least not in the wild around here We are full dual boot. Okay, we don't look at the bottom anymore. Let's look at just at the screen. We're still at an angle, but I am fine with that. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're first we're going to eject, and we are going to put our Doom disk inside. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? A control click, and we add a new folder. And I always write this Doom, I, I. Two. Okay, and our disc should pop up here. So no worries. Now she's spinning up. There's Doom 2. You can see it right there. Double click on that, and then we do this, and we pull it all into this folder here. 
because it was shareware at one time so I make sure it's on every single machine with uh, the classic OS on there to, just because you should be able to play Doom no matter where you want that off and then what I always do is I show myself that everything is working by ejecting the disk Doo -doo. disk is out and up for those who need proof disk is out <laughs> okay and then I click on my doom 2 and usually you can take this and pull it onto your desktop if you want to I just don't care and I just get it going there we go Ooh, with our fancy speakers you check them out Now the thing that always irritated me was we're playing on older hardware and it's still scrunched in like that. We are going ultra violence today and we will see how long it takes for me to die. Well, we all have to get the chainsaw. Why would you not get the chainsaw? Now granted, without cheating, I am really not that good about this anymore. I remember back in college where I used to play this every day. Uh, a friend of mine's computer. Because my computers never were that good back then. Just back when I had my 5150 IBM PS2, which I would love to have back. And I've only found one out in the wild, and the guy literally got rid of it like a minute before I got to him. It wasn't. I'm still sad about that. I do have a PC Junior downstairs that I've yet to power up. With a whole ton of uh, software that came with it. Oh, I didn't quite make it. Oh well. So we are leaving that game. Apple quit. You know, next time you come in here, I'm gonna toast you. Why would you do that? Yes, reset the monitor. Okay. And this thing is good to go. Until next time.